Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to day number five of uploading every single day for 30 days. Today, we will be talking about our bucket list, the top five places that we want to go each. And five mutual ones. That's exactly right. So we'll go through one at a time, one mutual, one of Josie's, one of mine. Mm. And let's start straight away. The first of the mutuals is? The Ice Hotel and the Northern Lights. 100%. Yeah. And since we're already in Sweden, we might be able to tick that off already this year. That's right. A few months away. Hopefully the green lights will start to appear. And yeah, that should be fantastic. Definitely number one on my list. And the Ice Hotel as well. I don't think that there's uh, many hotels uh, quite the same. No, it's entirely made out of ice. Yeah. And, and the rooms you sleep in are made out of ice. And the beds are made out of ice. And you kind of sleep on reindeer first. Yep, glass, the glass that you drink from is made of ice, literally everything. So that will be absolutely incredible. Uh, and as Josie said, hopefully we can knock that off in a few months time. And I've never been that far up north in Sweden, even though I am from Sweden. Me neither. But, yeah. <laughs> I haven't even been halfway up yet, but we are doing that next month, which will be really exciting. Yeah. So first one for Josie. Is, oh yeah, Pompeii and the Amalfi Coast. Um, I have always been very interested in history and I think it's so fascinating to see how people lived that many years ago. And ever since I heard in school or read about it in school that there was a city that was, that was frozen in time from the uh, eruption of the volcano. Eruption? Eruption. Eruption of the volcano. And everything just kind of froze in time and I've, since then I've always wanted to go and it's just such a cool thing that how could that even happen absolutely and yeah definitely to see how they lived and what was life like yeah i agree with that i amalfi coast is definitely up there on my list that didn't make the top five but uh yeah i look forward to doing that one as well uh, number one for me would be madison square garden watching the new york rangers play that is a dream for me i know i'm australian but uh, i grew up in australia playing ice hockey so I grew up from the age of seven and that's when I started playing and I made it to, to my state. I played for Victoria, which was incredible and an honor to be able to do that, which we won one of the two years and then we came in silver for the second time I played for, the, for Victoria. And then I was drafted to play for the Australian team, but it got canceled, unfortunately, due to the prices and everything to go over and play in Canada. So uh, we do have ice hockey in Australia. We do. It I might didn't be know hot. that before I met him. <laughs> I had no idea. And everyone who meets him here is like, ice hockey in Australia or a hockey player from Australia? Yeah. Yeah. Now, on to number two. So our mutual is to sail the Mediterranean Sea. Mm. So Josie really wants to do the Greek islands. Yeah. So that's that was first going to be on my top five, yeah. my own. So I said, I want to sail the Greek islands. <laughs> like all of the small little islands there and we'll say well I want to sail too but I want to do it in Croatia so yeah. we just said let's do it a mutual and do the Mediterranean yeah so that's how that ended up there <laughs> yeah Croatia there's definitely no better way to do it than to sail Croatia uh, the Greek islands I believe all the islands are beautiful but to be able to sail between them all freely would be wonderful mm. yeah so that's number two for both of us number two for Josie number two for me is the Trans-Siberian Railway. So I wanna, I don't, I don't care if I go the whole way or just a little bit of it, but I really wanna go on these really cool trains, stay for maybe, you know, a few days. Do the vodka train, which is for Do young people sightseeing. like us. I'm 30, but I feel 20, I act 15. 13. Uh, 13. <laughs> uh, no, but that's something that I've always found really cool uh, and uh, it's something that I really wanna do. Yeah. Beautiful. Number two for me is the glass igloos in Finland. And if you haven't seen this, it is absolutely incredible. So they're igloos that uh, are covered in glass. So at night on a beautiful clear day, you can see all the stars from your bed. And I think that that is definitely something that I want to do before I die. Yeah, that, yeah, that's something I like. Obviously, I want to do that too. And when I'm there, I want to go dog sledding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah. I wouldn't mind some snow now, actually. It's been over 30 degrees this whole week and I'm sweating. It's getting warm, sitting in the sun it's here. It so is hot. hot. It's so hot. I'm covered in sunscreen, so I hope I don't burn, but. 
Now, number three for the mutuals is the Blue Lagoon in Iceland. Mm. Definitely was on my top five. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. Always have been. I've never been to Iceland either. I'm a very bad Nordic. Never been to all of the Nordic countries. I've never even been to Finland. Neighboring country. Terrible. I didn't go to Norway until three years ago. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just that's it's shocking, terrible. disgraceful. But anyway, Iceland. Yeah. It looks so beautiful and looks you, stunning. Yeah. And you can do like these mud masks and everything and just it's so cold around you and then you go into these hot springs. Ah, just delightful. Yeah. Yep, so that's number three for well mutual list and then number three for Josie. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I am a foodie. Like I'm very interested in food and I love food. I love cooking I good food, I love eating good food. I love being inspired to cook new dishes. Uh, so, I want to go to the number one city in the world with the most Michelin starred restaurants, which is Tokyo. And I want to eat at one of those Michelin starred restaurants with obviously Japanese food then. It's got 226 Michelin starred restaurants in Tokyo. And the second one is Paris, which has 119. Wasn't so that third? Wasn't Osaka before Paris? No, Osaka was third. Okay, sorry. And then it was Yokohama, I think. So three of the top five are Japanese. Um, anyway, uh, that's something that I really, really want to do. And just go there, maybe have an amazing night. Maybe 15, 20 courses. You just get served, you get some uh, sake. Mm. Ah, just, oh, it makes me happy just thinking about it. Wait I love till, food. <laughs> wait till you see that vlog. You're going to see us drunk by the end of the night on <laughs> yeah. sake. But uh, yep, my favorite food is uh, Japanese cuisine, so mm. I'm definitely down oh, for doing that. Imagine that, that. top class, Mwah. oh, Wonderful. amazing. All right, so number three for me, the canals of Amsterdam, but on a houseboat. So I've been to Amsterdam twice, I've spent a total of about two weeks there, and I absolutely love the city. I love just walking around the tiny little canals and streets and cobblestone roads and all the bicycles and it is just absolutely beautiful. So I've never been in winter, I've never seen it while it has been snowing, so I would love to do that. But uh, number three for me is to, to, to stay on a houseboat for a few nights on one of the canals. I think that that would be absolutely lovely. Um, but you wouldn't want to do it in winter, I've heard, because it can get really cold on the houseboats. So, because you're lower and you're on the water, it just apparently it gets freezing cold at night. So, maybe that's something that we'll do uh, spring or autumn, I think, when it's not too hot, not too cold. Mm. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Number four mm. on the mutual list. It's the big five in uh, Africa plus uh, Uganda with the gorillas. Yeah. So, if you don't know what the big five is, it is... God, I'm going to get it wrong now. Lions. Mm -hmm. Hippos, rhinos, giraffes, leopards. and leopards. <laughs> <laughs> So they're the big five. So when you go to Africa, and obviously all the countries within Africa, Africa is not a country; it is a continent. But uh, we will yes, go sweet. to we'll go to South Africa, um, maybe do one of the reserves there, or through Tanzania uh, and Kenya, and then, as Josie said, Uganda, where the gorillas are. Sure, That's top. the mutual number four. four. Josie, number four. Yes. Uh, so I've always kind of wanted to go to Hawaii. Good luck saying this one. Yeah. Good luck to me. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Hawaii and I've seen a lot of footage from there. I've never been. And so I was doing some Googling a few months ago and I came across this volcano in Maui, which is called, I'm very sorry for my pronunciation, it's called the Haleakala Volcano. And it's on Maui and I want to go there and see the sunrise and you're above the clouds. Mm -hmm. So you're at 3000 meters or 10,000 feet above sea level and I read that it can get really cold there apparently yeah. uh, so it would be 30 degrees colder at the top than it is at the bottom so if it's 30 degrees down by Celsius the... or Fahrenheit oh yeah I, I didn't think about that. maybe it's Fahrenheit because everything else was written in feet and I know that Americans write in feet so maybe it was Fahrenheit okay 
It said to Either me, way, it's a lot colder up there than it is on the ground level. Yeah, a lot colder. If that's something I really, really want to do, so that would be very cool. That's number four for Josie. Number four for me is, and I'm sure a lot of you will have this on your list too, Venice. So I think it's self-explanatory. I want to go see all the beautiful canals. I want to hop on one of those tiny little, what are they called? The little rowboats? I'm going to Google it and I'm going to put it in, in writing. Uh, but you know which ones we're talking about. Yeah, you know. Uh, and I just think that staying in a, a Venetian style hotel on the river overlooking the canals. Uh, once again, I don't want to go in summer because apparently it can smell really, really bad in summer. Yeah. All the sewerage and everything, the smell of that comes up. So. My mum's been there. Uh, she says it smells horrible. Yeah, so maybe a spring, autumn, mm. even winter for Venice would be nice, I think. And Venice also got a lot of history, and as you know, know by now, I'm a history nerd, so... Okay, number five. Number five is something luxurious, and we all enjoy some luxury in our lives, don't we? Absolutely. So, the number five on the mutual is to fly first class with a full-service airline. Yes, so that means uh, Emirates, Etihad, Singapore, Thai, Qatar, Qatar. any of those five-star full-service airlines, I would be happy to... I mean, I'd be happy with business class, but... Josie no, wanted it to I, be I, first. I wanted it to be a little, like, aim for the stars, you know, yeah. on the bucket list. So we really got to do it yeah. at some point. One day. Come on, Emirates. Hook us up. <laughs> or Qatar, Singapore. We don't care. <laughs> Any of you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> we'll give you a good rating. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, that, I think that's also self-explanatory to why we'd want to do that. No one likes to sit in economy with... Uh, people on either side of you and especially in this day and age of COVID and everyone just wants that little bit more space. I think, yeah, first class, definitely. Oh, that would be so great. Oh, Going up, drink champagne, sitting at the bar. some Russian caviar. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Here sitting I go again with food. <laughs> bar away from everyone, eating peanuts, drinks on demand. Eating peanuts? Right. We're going to eat Steak. caviar. Caviar. <laughs> Sorry, I'm too used to being in economy. <laughs> uh, number five, Josie. My number five. Yes, um, I've always wanted to go to New York City. Uh, I was obsessed with Gossip Girl when I was younger. Like when I was a teenager, I was obsessed, especially with Rena Van Der Woodsen. That was my icon, you know, my role model. So I want to do a night out in New York City. We can do that after we've been to Madison Square Garden. Yep. Uh, and I want, just want to do a night out, like hit the, the coolest nightclubs, the coolest bars, uh, go to a good restaurant, you know, all that. It's some 3 a.m. New York and pizza. Exactly, exactly that. Uh, oh, there's a glider. There's a glider above us getting pulled by an aircraft. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a night out in New York, I think that would be really cool. And as Will said, some pizza before heading home in the morning. Some drunken 3 a.m. pizza. And your heels in your hand. Oh, yeah. Very good. Fun. We get to go see the Rangers play at Madison Square Garden first, so win winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. I actually, I think that would be exciting for me too. Like, I've been to uh, one hockey game in my life, and that was like uh, the Swedish league, and that was fun. Like, they're good players, and uh, the atmosphere was pumped up, so. I think Madison Square Garden would be a really cool experience. Absolutely. Yeah, I look forward to that. Now, number five for me ties in with that again. Sort of. I want to go ice skating on a pond surrounded by mountains. That is, That probably should have been number one on my bucket list. It's something I've always wanted to do is go ice skating on a river, uh, skate the river, or skate on a pond and play some stick and puck with some beautiful towering mountains behind us. Uh, I think that that would be absolutely just perfection. And it's not entirely impossible that like it could happen this year. Yeah, hopefully we can do that when we go further up north uh, in, in winter. winter. Uh, hopefully the ponds, well the ponds up north will definitely be frozen so it's mm. just a matter of hopefully that we can get there and do it. Yeah. Absolutely, that would be uh, fun. I can ice skate. I'm a very bad Swede, as we have I'll established multiple the, times throughout this video. The Australian will <laughs> teach the Swede how to skate. How ridiculous does that sound? Yeah. 
is what it is. That is my number five, and that is our top five. Yeah. Bucket list, mutual, Josie's, mm. and mine. And uh, in the future, when we tick something off, it will show up on the screen. It will. So ticked off on the bucket list, either Will's, mine, or the mutual. Absolutely. So make sure to stay tuned. Watch us knock those all off. Yeah. Hopefully, we can do it quickly. Uh, but I think it'll take uh, at least it will a year take or a two. A few years to yeah. get all this done. <clears throat> But I think a lot of these will be able to get done within the next six to 12 months. Yeah, yeah. It'll just be a few of them that will take a little bit longer. We will end it there. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. We hope that you've enjoyed it. And we hope that you'll follow us along as we knock off all these bucket list places. Yeah. Maybe you can give us some inspiration and write your top five bucket list places. Yep. Tell us uh, where your five are. Give us some inspiration. Yeah. Absolutely. That and would if be you great. like this video, Hit the like button and click subscribe to follow along on our journey. Click subscribe. Do it. <laughs>